I'm a multiple time entrepreneur uh, currently running a fintech startup called Cashflower that helps small businesses make sure they don't run out of money. Having been around startups for over 20 years, I've seen a number of market cycles in different industries as the internet or technology has changed the shape of industries and I saw that pattern emerging in financial services and thought it would be great to be part of that change. I would argue and say that there aren't any similar programs. There's a lot of programs to support startups. In FinTech, what makes Initribe very different is the network of banks that SWIFT serves. So there are investors, there are accelerators, there's even a couple of, of competitions, but no one has the reach that SWIFT does into you know, 10,000 banks and corporations who are all interested in financial services innovation. Uh, the way that we have structured the program also makes it different in that it's free for startups to participate. We provide a very um, high degree of coaching to help the startups um, understand how banks work and present to them effectively. And then we provide a great deal ex of exposure through Swiss media channels. Entrepreneurs, right, they often see their future and they may even be able to articulate their future to investors and to uh, potential employees, but often they have a very difficult time um, communicating the benefits to a bank who has a lot of preconceived notions about how things should work. So we bring together bankers, investors, serial entrepreneurs to provide a, a complete perspective to, to our entrepreneurs of how to communicate with banks. And then we spend a lot of energy on them getting very crisp in their messages. Up until fairly recently, Many fintech startups have been focused on serving end consumers, which is what to a degree has put them in, in competition with the banks. I think now what we're seeing is a clear division between um, those startups who want to compete with banks, those startups who believe they can partner with banks, and those startups who believe they can sell more effective ways to banks for them to do what it is that banks do. I think the most interesting thing that we've seen show up over the last few years is that there is a division of startups between those that are um, building products and services to support banks and those that are building products and services to unbundle or disrupt banks. Initribe has been running for six years now, and I think what has happened is, is it's become somewhat specialized um, because of its reach into banks, right? In startups that want to work with banks and have, have figured out a good value proposition for banks. So I think um, more than prior years, the startups, which I think are very high quality this year, um, are ones which will have very clear value propositions for the banks that are coming to Silos.